Hello, I'm here today to show you how to add a printer to your computer or laptop. Now, this may only work for Windows 7, so if you don't have Windows 7, you might want to go to a different tutorial to learn how to get this. Well, the first step is, if it's a wireless printer, it is totally wireless. It doesn't hook up to anything but a power cord. And what you're most likely going to have to do is have to download its software. For example, I had an HP printer. And so I had to download the HP software, and it gave me these icons on my desktop. Now, if you have a different computer or printer, it may not have a software to download. So then you would go to Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, and then Devices and Printers, and you'd go down to the bottom half, and you'd have you could find this uh, printer. And then there would also be other printers that it ask if you could have have and all you have to do there is right click and then you would actually you'd click on this and you would go up here to remove device and then uh, yes if you really want it removed and this is right here this printer doesn't mean anything really and it'll remove the device for you and you could do that with the same as with the same with this any type of device that you have on here you could remove it so you could do that for a fax, and then you're down to just your computer. Then how you'd add it is you'd click on it, and you would click on this and go to add a printer, and then you could search for all the printers out there. And then you could do add a local printer, uh, which is a USB. It automatic it'll hook into your computer by a USB or a, a network or wireless or Bluetooth printer, which a network is it's plugged into another computer and then you get it through that computer but a wireless is you um, hook it up through the actual network it's hooked up to and then a bluetooth is you somehow connect it to your, your computer and that same bluetooth is connected to your laptop and, uh, since I have one of these you can I'm gonna connect to a wireless one and you, as you can see there's a whole bunch of these but I have this one right here, so then I would hit next, and you'd go through all the process, but since I already have it, and since software I use, HP, it automatically connects it once it finds an HP printer out there, and that's all you really have to know to add a printer. Thanks for watching. Bye.